Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about Pentose Delivery or Vacuum Extraction. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Pentose Delivery or Vacuum Extraction is a type of operative vaginal delivery or instrumental delivery. In this, you provide traction using vacuum to complement the maternal effort in order to expedite delivery of fetus in second stage of labor. It is important to remember the shape of maternal pelvis allows delivery of fetal head only in occipital anterior position. So it becomes necessary to rotate the fetal head to occipital anterior position either manually or using ventus for the delivery of fetus. Now let us see about the various indications for ventus delivery. Fetal distress in second stage of labor, prolonged second stage of labor that is after one hour of active pushing. Maternal distress, maternal disease where active pushing is harmful. Example, cardiac disease. Now let us see about the criteria to be fulfilled before performing ventus delivery. Informed consent should be taken from the patient. There should be a valid indication for expediting the delivery. The presentation should be cephalic. The head should not be palpable above the pelvic brim. The head must be at or below the level of ischial spines. The cervix must be fully dilated and the membranes should be ruptured. Maternal bladder should be empty. There should not be excessive molding or caput. The operator should be certain about the position of fetal head and adequate analgesia should be provided. All these things need to be fulfilled before performing ventus delivery. Now let us discuss a few basic details about the vacuum extractor or ventus device. It consists of a cup. The cup can be soft cup or a metal cup. Soft cup is preferred in most cases, whereas metal cup is preferred in difficult delivery. This cup is connected to a handle, which in turn is connected to a suction device. This suction device is controlled by hand or foot release device. The cup must be carefully applied to an optimal point on the fetal head and its position should be checked before vacuum is commenced. Traction is applied by means of vacuum to complement the maternal effort. Rotation to occipital anterior position occurs in vacuum extraction because the head follows the curve of pelvis during descent. This picture shows the Ventus device or vacuum extractor. As you can see, this is the cup and this is the suction device. This picture shows vacuum assisted delivery. As you can see, the cup is applied to an optimal point on the fetal head and traction is applied to expedite second stage of labor. Now let us see about the types of instrumental delivery. The type of instrumental delivery and the choice of instrument depend on position and descent of it. There are two types of instrumental delivery. They are low cavity delivery and mid cavity delivery. In low cavity type, the head is well below the ischial spines and in occipital anterior position. In mid cavity type, the head is at or just below the ischial spines and the head is usually mal positioned in occipital transverse or occipital posterior position. So rotation to occipital anterior position is necessary for delivering mid cavity type. Now let us see about the procedure involved in Ventus delivery. Analgesia should be given. Epidural or spinal anesthetic is preferred. Local infiltration of perineum or potential block can be given when there is no time. The patient should be put in lithotomy position and episiotomy should be done. The cup must be carefully applied to an optimal point on the fetal head and its position should be checked before vacuum is commenced. Then you can start the vacuum and you should give traction only during uterine contractions. The vacuum force used should be the minimum required to sustain advancement of fetal head. It is important to remember that excessive force should not be used. Within three uterine contractions, delivery of fetus should be done. If it is not possible by three uterine contractions, the procedure should be abandoned and cesarean section should be performed. If one instrument fails, another instrument should not be used. For example, if vacuum extraction fails, forceps should not be used. Now let us see about the complications of vacuum extraction or ventus delivery. Failure to achieve delivery. 
soft tissue trauma like vaginal lacerations and third degree tears fetal trauma like facial bruising or abrasions can occur as a complication of winter's delivery if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comment section for more such videos please check out my playlists if you like my videos kindly subscribe your subscription will encourage me to make more videos thank you